the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 105 to Samuel 11 to 12, Psalm 51. The letter for innocent murder. David, who committed adultery with Bathsheba, killed Uriah to cover up the sin. He was rebuked for this evil, which then he knelt down before God and truly repented. First point. David murders Uriah with one letter. During the fight against Israel and Ammon, there was a short break. At the time, Job was out in the battlegrounds when David was in his palace. One day, David saw Bathsheba, despite knowing that she was the wife of his loyal servant Uriah, he called for her and made her pregnant. But David did not settle this well. He told Uriah to go to his wife, but Uriah did not, as he considered his comrades who were out in the field. And so David killed Uriah in order to erase his faults. The method David used to kill Uriah was a method only the king could use. This method could be kept a secret. What David did here was so unlike him, spiteful and heartless. David used his power to make Joab a partner in crime. This was indeed a perfect crime that no one would be able to find out about. When Uriah died, David made Bathsheba his own wife and pretended as though nothing had happened. But God mentioned this crime later in Matthew chapter 1. David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. Second point. The prophet Nathan proclaimed opposition against David. The job of a prophet was to act as God's spokesperson and to deliver his message. This was the whole purpose of a prophet. David had to confirm with the prophet Nathan regarding his wishes to build a temple as well. David was able to go forth with his plan as Nathan told David that God permitted this. But when David committed the murder of Uriah, the prophet Nathan proclaimed opposition. We will see throughout the 500 years of monarchy how many prophets opposed the kings when they did not meet the standard of a kingdom of priests. This was the law and responsibility of the prophet. Third point, King David knelt down to repent in front of a kingdom of priests. Different to empires, the system in a kingdom of priests meant that kings were to be rebuked when they did not follow God's laws. David had committed a huge crime, and so God told the prophet Nathan to tell David that these were his punishments. The first was that the sword would never leave his household. The second was that David's wife would also be taken from him. The third was that David's child through Bathsheba would die. The notable point here was that David confessed he had sinned. It did not matter to him at this point that he was the king. David completely confessed that he did wrong and repented. This was why God used him as his servant. Fourth point, David desired to be cleansed with hyssop in front of God. Hyssop was a plant that was grown that had an aromatic scent and purifying qualities. Hyssop was used back when the first Passover took place in Egypt. 
take a bunch of hyssop, dip it into the blood in the basin, and put some of the blood on the top and on both sides of the door frame. None of you shall go out of the door of your house until morning. David confessed that his sin was so deep that he needed to be cleansed with his own. Thus, David was able to receive God's forgiveness and return to living as a holy citizen in a kingdom of priests. After David heard Nathan's rebuke, he completely knelt in front of God and wrote Psalm 51 to pray to God to be cleansed with his own. This managed to re-strengthen his relationship with God. Fifth point. To David who repented, God sent the prophet Nathan to him once again. See, from a kingdom of priests, David's sin of pursuing Bathsheba and then murdering Uriah was a death penalty. But David truly repented and received God's forgiveness. Although the son born between David and Bathsheba died, God gave them another son to replace the one they had lost. While the child was still alive, I fasted and wept. I thought, who knows, the Lord may be gracious to me and let the child live. But now that he is dead, why should I go on fasting? Can I bring him back again? I will go to him, but he will not return to me. God once again sent the prophet Nathan and expressed his love to David. Although David committed an enormous sin, the reason God called him my servant until the end was because he repented deeply and always returned to God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones, the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.